We're back, baby. Feeling great. Had a great weekend. Feeling ready to conquer the week. Let's fucking go. It's a beautiful Monday, August 17th. There's a heat wave going through Salinas right now. There's also a fire going through Salinas. You can see it over there in the background. It's already taken out like 2,000 acres. These California fires are scary. I know about them from Sonoma myself. Had two greenhouses burned down from fire. Luckily, Salinas doesn't have many trees. There's really no way for it to cross over here unless there's a crazy wind that picks up. So I feel pretty safe as far as fires go, but there's still still have PTSD from them from Sonoma. Super hot. Plants love it when it's super hot. Cannabis can never be too hot. The plants always grow super fast, strong when it's really hot. 102? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, let's send everyone home. Way too hot. The watering stay. Yeah. Yeah. So cannabis loves the heat. The people might die when it's 107 degrees, so you gotta send them home. The plants will keep on growing. Just gotta make sure that they're watered, especially the four inches over here, the little babies. The moms look good. The moms love it. Guys, just have one thing on their mind. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going down to King's Garden. My brother found Tim Grover, the author of Relentless, and he got him to come to King's Garden tomorrow. I'm gonna fly out there tonight, spend the day there tomorrow. I'm excited to meet the legend, Tim, who used to coach Kobe, Michael Jordan, Dwayne Wade. Damn, these plants grew three, four inches over the weekend. This whole thing wasn't here. Holy oh, shit. Cannabis loves the heat. Nice and warm in here too. A little bit cooler. Let's check out the temperature. Uh, not much cooler, 100.8 degrees. These kinds of times you just gotta make sure that the plants stay watered. They can get dehydrated in half a day, kind of like a human can. That's really the only risk. One time I, I left my plants in the middle of summer for one day unintended, and I watered them like right before I left. These are already adult plants. They usually could take it, but by the time I got back, it was like 105 degrees that day. And even a couple of big adult plants that were like four months old, like six feet tall, they couldn't take it. They died. That's the big risk. You gotta keep eyes on them all the time, especially when they're smaller. When they're like four inches, they're the most susceptible because there's only that much soil. They drink fast and they might need water two, three times a day. We run the misters, you know, we do our thing. But overall, hot days are really good as long as you're careful. 